Hello everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun card using the celebration stamp set called So Hoppy Together. This is one of my favorites from the 2019 Stampin' Up! Celebration catalog. Now you can see that these little guys are black line images, which means you're going to have to color them some way. So there's lots of different options to do that. You can use your regular ink pad and a Stampin' Um, a aqua painter, <laughs> an aqua painter, or what I was originally going to say, a, a blender pen. Um, those are two ways you can use, you can color them in. You could also use stamp and blend markers. You could use a watercolor pencil, which is really fun. You also would use these with that. But today I'm just going to stay with my uh, watercoloring. I it's my first love. It's the first uh, thing I always jump to when I color. Um, and I am going to give him a nice little watercolor uh, look, but you can also see behind him, I've done a watercolor wash. Now I do want to say that I made this, ca this card when I very first got my stamp set and it was cased from something similar I saw online. And when I went back to find it this week to see who I could give credit to, I cannot find the original. So whoever you are, thank you. You inspired me. All right, well, let's get started with our coloring. Now, because I'm going to do water coloring, I need to use stays on ink. Stays on will not bleed or run um, like other inks. So you want to use your stays on black. I'm also using my shimmer white cardstock. It's a little bit shimmery um, and it holds that water a little bit better. If you use your regular white, it um, will start to pill and tear the, the cardstock. So you want to use either shimmer white or watercolor paper. Um, I've cut one out with the stitched rectangle framelits from the new Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. I really love those stitched rectangles. I love any framelit that is stitched. And we're going to stamp him right there in the center. We're also going to, over here on a scrap piece, we're going to stamp the cute little dragonfly. These little critters are just too cute. All right, so let's start with our frog and I'm gonna do Granny Apple and I'm gonna take uh, one of my grungy <laughs> clear blocks and get some ink on it. And I'm gonna use it kind of like a palette. Now you also wanna have a paper towel around to kind of clean off your brush in case there's an old color on there, but also to dry it out. You don't want it too drippy. Now you're gonna get a little bit of ink, swirl it around, and then you can just start coloring him in. If you have too much water on your brush, it's going to run and bleed and you're going to have a problem. It's gonna come out of the lines and you're gonna have a hard time controlling it. So my first recommendation when using an aqua painter is to make sure that it's damp but not drippy. All right, so I'm gonna just give him a full coating here of Granny Apple Green, which is becoming just my absolute favorite green. And we have to be very careful down here because his skinny little legs are so skinny that it's easy to get out of the lines. Now I'm gonna fussy cut this guy here in a minute, but as of today, February 1st, Stampin' Up! announced to Stampin' Up! demonstrators that there are some framelits coming to match this guy. They'll be available in March of this year, March 2019. So if you love your little froggy stamp set, hold on and just wait. You won't have to fussy cut them forever because the framelits are coming. Now you can see I'm going back with some ink just kind of over here on the left side, giving him some dark darkening on one side. I'm also going to run out my brush, get some of that color out, and then just kind of blend all this over. All right, not too much. Not too much water. All right, now we're gonna do the little unicycle down here. So get your brush clean. And the other thing you can do instead of using your clear block is to take your stamp pad, turn it over, and just give it a little push. And it's going to deposit some of that ink there on the inside of your ink pad. Now be very careful here because this is very skinny and narrow. So you're gonna to have to really control your hand and just use the very tip of your skinniest aqua painter. 
The aqua painters can be found in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up! and they come in sets of two. One's a little bit fatter than the other. Now another option would be to use your blender pen which is like a marker but it is clear and you dip it in your ink just like I'm doing here with this aqua painter and it is a little easier to control so if you feel like sometimes with your aqua painter you get a little out of control give the um, blender pen a try all right so let's move on now to our cute little um, dragonfly we're gonna color it with Highland Heather and I've already got a little bit of Highland Heather in there now, one thing I just realized, you guys, is that I was gonna cut him out. I was gonna fussy cut him, and I stamped him on that stitched rectangle. Huh, I didn't even realize I did that. So, you know what? I don't think we need to cut him out. I think stabbing him directly onto that rectangle is just fine, since we don't have those, um, since we don't have those framelits yet, we'll just leave them on the stitched rectangle. All right, now I'm gonna grab a little bit of Gorgeous Grape and go in to those little, those little bit pieces. All right, now let's clean the brush off again. Come back with our Granny Apple and this little dragonfly or butterfly or whatever he is. He almost looks like a little alligator. I don't know if you guys can see him. <laughs> he looks like a little alligator with wings. All right, so I think we're gonna leave him. I think we'll leave him. We won't worry about cut, cutting him out. If you wanna cut yours out, if you wanna fussy cut him, then go ahead and do it. And I'll show you in a minute when I'm done the difference between fussy cutting and not fussy cutting. Now this guy, he's gonna be flying over the designer series paper that I have. So he's gonna have to be cut out. And he's got these tiny little legs that you know, you probably could just cut right off if you didn't want to cut around those little legs. But let's go around like this. I try to leave just a little bit of a white line on the outside so that your eye will only see that black line. We don't need to worry too much about our jaggedy cut lines. And there we go. All right. Now, one thing I was gonna add to this is some splatters. And you know what? I just realized we are going to have to cut him out because we have the background right there. All right, let me grab another rectangle. All right, let's try this again. Now, here's our original stitched rectangle using that shimmer white. I am gonna take my aqua painter and I'm gonna add some water there to, to my ink and I'm just gonna do a wash like that. Just a wash. I'm gonna give it just a few minutes to dry. And then I'm gonna come back and add a little bit more color. All right, I've given it a few minutes to dry. I'm gonna come back with a little bit more. This is gonna add just kind of a variation in our watercolor. Just a little bit like that. All right, I like it. Now I wanted to add a little bit of splatter, so let's take that smoky slate again and dry off or rinse out your aqua painter really well. Grab some of that ink and your lid and just flick some of that on there, just a little bit. There we go. All right, I love it. Now we're ready and I actually went ahead and fussy cutted. It's not a word fussy cutted. I fussy cut our little frog while I was getting our, our rectangle cut again. So let's layer them up. We also need to stamp the words on this little Highland Heather piece. I cut it with a framelit from the Merry Christmas Thinlets that were in the holiday catalog. They're carrying over, so you can find them in the holiday catalog. Actually, you can find them online. They were in the holiday catalog. All right, you can do anything. I think that's a great sentiment to go with our little guy on the unicycle. I'm not sure I could do a unicycle, but he can do a unicycle. He can do anything. This would be a great encouragement card for someone 
All right, right there with some dimensionals. Now let's see, let's add another dimensional and I don't have my baby dimensionals here. So let's see, there we go. That fits perfectly. And let's put it right across there. Let's get it nice and straight, there we go. All right, let's layer up our card. This is a Daffodil Delight card base. I took a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock and I cut it in half on the short side at four and a fourth, and then I scored it on the long side at five and a half. This is a piece of the gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. You can see there's big gingham and little gingham. So we're gonna go with the big gingham. I can't decide which one I like the best, the big or the little. Now we're gonna put some more dimensionals. I do love my dimensionals right there. And then let's not forget about this cute little guy. Just adding a pop of color up there. And then I felt like we needed a few little stars. So these are the Twinkle Adhesive Backed Sequence from the Annual Catalog. And you can use your Take Your Pick tool and it will just grab those little stars and just set them down wherever you want them. And that's it, isn't that fun? So you can color your frog with um, the aqua painter like I did today. You could color it with your blender pen and your inks. You can color it with a uh, watercolor pencil. This is Lemon Lime Twist, and this one you can only get in one of the kits, but we have lots of other colors available in the watercolor packs. Um, and you can also use Stamp and Blend. So I encourage you to give it a try and to play with it. Um, it's a lot of fun to color your stamped images. All right, you guys, thanks so much, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.